So what you're going to need to do, listen to me closely. If you clicked on this video, consider it a contract between you and me that you are going to watch this video in full. And you're going to watch, actually you're going to need to do that because the data science job outlook is dramatically changing right now. It's changing very fast and it's changing a lot. So we're going to need to know what to do here. What do you do? Well, I'm going to talk about that in this video. But firstly, I want to explain that data science jobs are not close to dying. Okay, They're not getting automated. We're getting more and more data. We're getting more and more insights from this data if people are going to look at it. You can't just get insights from a computer. Those are machine learning models. You can build those, but we still need to know what to do with them. All of this stuff, we're going to need humans for them. However, the job outlook is changing a lot right now. And in this video, at the end, I'm going to say one massive piece of advice you're going to want to know a skill that you're going to need to build so that you are able to set yourself apart from the competition and able to avoid the automation of ChatGPT. We'll talk about that at the end. But firstly, you know, data science jobs, they're there. However, exploratory data analysis is not quite what it used to be. It's a lot easier to actually get this stuff done. I think it's still very important to be able to understand Python code, to be able to understand the libraries so that you're able to do things and tweak the ChatGPT responses as you need to. So it's extremely important to do these things because everybody's going to be able to code now. It's not as hard as it used to be. However, if you know the skills, you are going to be much better than the people that don't. They might still be able to use ChatGPT, but they're going to struggle. So of course, companies are going to want the same people as they did before. They're going to want data scientists. However, it is going to be easier to fake being a data scientist right now because what is what has everybody been suggesting to get a job? Oh, a little bit of credentials and then just spam projects, make really, really good projects. No, it's going to be a lot more about actually knowing the skills. Okay, so you're going to need to take courses online to get an education or somewhere and then come back and build projects because anyone could build projects now. Like it's so easy. Before what you had to do was to just grab a blog and then fiddle with it and then you'd probably get an error and then you'd fight with it. I know, I know you've done this, okay? So oftentimes we give up from that. ChatGPT is making it a lot easier just to build these projects online. And so you're going to need to have all the skills, the software architecture skills, the of course the, the libraries and the frameworks and the actual language itself, but more about building full applications. ChatGPT is great at building code. It can You can iterate with it and build applications very, very quickly. However, what it cannot do is piece things together, okay? It can build individual Lego blocks, but it cannot build a Lego castle. You need someone or companies are going to need people that understand all of the Lego blocks, what each of them do, and how to put them together, okay? It's going to be a lot more about actually putting things together. And of course, it's still writing code. I'm not saying that you're not going to need to write code, but it's getting faster and companies are going to need less people to actually write this code because like developers are just writing code so much faster than they used to be. I'm working on a startup right now. You'll see the results hopefully this year. I really hope this year, hopefully by the end of the summer. But I am writing code extremely quickly right now in languages that I am learning at the same time, like JavaScript. I don't know very well, but with ChatGPT, uh, I'm writing JavaScript code and I am using it all the time. So trust me. Coding is just easier than it used to be, my God. But anyways, ChatGPT is so, so good at writing code in many areas. And so it's going to be a lot more about knowing these individual Lego pieces, being able to put them together. And 100%, this is what you absolutely need to know, is GCP, AWS, Azure, building actual applications, putting all the pieces together to build a final product. Because Again, data analysts, data, data exploratory data analysis, simple uh, data science stuff, it's still useful. It's still extremely useful. And I, I'm not saying that it's going away. However, it's just easier. You're still going to need to know all of these skills. If you're a data scientist, you absolutely should still know Python, all these visualization libraries, SQL, all the normal stuff like TensorFlow, PyTorch, whatever for machine learning models. However, your actual job is getting easier in some ways with the, you know, traditional analytics is getting easier. However, it's going to merge into building full applications. Okay, I've said this in previous videos, it is more important than ever right now to learn all of this data science stuff, and then learn how to build actual applications. And you can do it in the reverse way. If you want, you can absolutely build applications, and then you can learn data science, there's still going to be a lot of roles in data science. However, they're merging 
into doing multiple things at the same time, using your analytics to build these applications, okay? Now, there's still going to be those base analytics roles where you're just doing simple uh, visualizations and stuff and presenting them. However, it's hard to say how many people they're really gonna need to do that because they're just so efficient these days and more and more people are gonna be able to do that. So what you're gonna need to do, listen to me closely, be really, 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 really good at your job. It's not just learn some analytics, make a Jupyter notebook and you can get a job anymore. I'm sorry, you should still learn all of those skills and you're going to need them, but build full applications, learn advanced machine learning architectures so that you can actually expand upon the company's skill set, build their own technologies out, and not just be one of the many, many people that are able to do these simple analytics. You got it? Okay. Subscribe. Bye-bye.